I'm Colin and in part 2 I will briefly go over the initial settings on the XHub Snap. These will show you how to manage the normal speed mode and gimbal speed etc to get those smooth cinematic shots. Switching to sport mode maxes out the speed settings allowing for quick drone repositioning. As this is a relatively short video I included a bit of an introduction that was all filmed using my Xena Pro and edited Adobe Elements 2019. The full length film is also available too. The Xeno Pro recorded in 2.7K at 30 frames per second and I edit it down to 1080. I hope you enjoyed it. Now onto the X Hubson app. From the top right hand settings go to others and into the novice guide. This will give you some ideas of recommendations of where and where you can't fly it. Here it explains the two joystick modes. Mode 2 is the most popular, but I prefer mode 1, which allows me to hand catch the drone, especially if I'm moving. This just goes over the screen. This is showing green ready to fly. There you show the GPS uh, reception. I tend to fly with uh, 10 or more. And that is the voltage. Keep an eye on that and I tend to land it when it hits 30%. By tapping on the area which in this case is red weak GPS signal which is normally green ready to fly you will access the device status list. This will show you the controller and the aircraft connection in this case connected plus the various firmware stroke software uh, versions and there's also a quick method to get access to the ca compass calibration, horizontal calibration and the gimbal gyro. It will show you the remaining memory on the SD card plus the voltage and power remaining in the battery. Go to top right settings which brings up the first of the left which in this case is aircraft. Go down to aircraft maximum speed settings and these are for the normal speed position switch. I'll set these down to allow smooth cinematic videos. Next down is the waypoint settings. It's worth taking your time and setting these to sensible values to keep your drone within the legal limits of altitude and distance and avoid waypoints going beyond your visual line of observation. The next menu down is the GPS accuracy test. I'll leave these two boxes at default settings though you do have the option to do another GPS accuracy test if you wish. Uh, this is normally carried out when binding stroke connecting the drone. The rest of the menu shows the firmware stroke software versions installed on the drone and controller. Next menu down is the joysticks menu. Here you can select mode 1 or mode 2 depending on your preference. And you can also select whether require a strong GPS signal to take off. I recommend you leave this as yes for a safe flight. Next menu down is a controller. Not much to change here. You can set the transmitter and aircraft connection if you wish, but this is normally carried out when first binding the aircraft when you switch the unit on. You can also check the Lee's channel settings for interference and change the channel if required. The three dots next to the controller will show you the latest firmware version number. Next menu is the gimbal mode. Here you can change your pitching speed in the normal switch position. I keep it low for cinematic results. When in sports mode this the pitching speed is increased to max. You can also do a new calibration here as well. In the map menu I'll leave the settings as shown. I'm yet to try the map calibration feature so cannot comment at the moment. The map mode which is the maps as displayed on your mobile phone I'll leave as standard. You can have satellites but you require a phone signal for this as well. The waypoint and mission route sampling I'll leave at the minimum settings and this will come clear in my next video when I go through waypoints. The maps I'll leave as Google Maps. The last menu is pretty much self-explanatory and I'll leave it at the settings as shown. You can also enter the horizontal calibration at this point. I hope you found this video useful. 
It is only intended for first time users to help become acquainted with the X Hubson app and promote safe and responsible flying. I will be going over the actual flight modes such as follow me and active track plus waypoints in my next videos. Please hit subscribe to keep up to date with future video releases. Stay safe and enjoy your drone flights.